Okay, so now it's finally time to start building our application. In this episode, we are going to create the home pages user interface, which is going to consist of a navbar and the start of our reservation form. I say start because we are just going to add one field to it. And in the future episodes, we are going to add more form fields to our reservation form. So let's start building our application. There is just one thing I did behind the scenes and that was to add these colors right here to our, to our tailwind.js file so that we can have some colors on our page and not just shades of gray and black and white. So uh, this is, these are our colors and now what we want to do, we want to create a navigation bar. If you, if you go to app.view file, you can see that we have some sort of a navigation right here. So this is it, uh, but we of course don't want to use that. We want to put our navigation into a separate component. So we are going to create a component and call it navbar. That view, of course. Now, uh, what we want to do next is we want to go right here and copy this navigation bar from Tailwind site. So if you go to Google and write Tailwind Navbar or Tailwind Forms and so on, you will get some code examples that you can use on your page. So we don't want to write all of this. I'm just going to copy it out and put it uh, into our Navbar uh, component. So I'm just going to paste it in. Uh, this is our Navbar. We are just going to change the background of it to be gray, gray darkest. Also, I'm going to remove this Tailwind logo from it. Uh, we are going to name our company Trotter. And uh, we also want to remove this download button right here. And I think that's about it for now. We are going to customize it a little bit, but just we first want to just get it on the page. So let's save this, go to our app.view file and since this is a navbar and it's going to be used all across our site we are going to put it into app.view file but first of all let me just delete uh, this right here because we don't need that open up script tags script right and uh, import navbar And of course, register it. Now we can just put it right here. Okay, let's check our page right now. If I go right here, as you can see, we got our navigation bar here. Now what I wanna do uh, uh, is this logo and these links, which are barely visible, uh, we wanna put them in the center of the page so that they be, that they're being our the full container so the width of our page so we want to put them at the center and to do that i'm just going to go to my code editor go to navbar.view and all of this is going to go into our container so it's in our container but this still won't work if we check the browser right now as you can see this doesn't work properly just yet uh, because first of all we have to go to tailwind.js and enable a container plugin which is uh, disabled by default so you just remove this center and pairing save it check it out now in our uh, browser and as you can see it moved a little bit to the right now this doesn't look so good also so we are going to go to navbar.view and take all of these right here, remove them, paste them right here. And we just actually want to have BG gray, uh, gray darkest in our nav class. Everything else is going to go to into our container. If I save this right now, go to the page. Now it looks a bit better. Uh, what we also want to do is move these links to the right side. And to do that, you would just go down here. So this div contains our links and I'm just going to remove everything from here and add it uh, margin left auto. 
ML over top. Uh, what this is going to do is going to move our links to the right side of the page. So let's save this, check it out. And as you can see, our docs are right here, examples, blog and so on. Okay, so of course we don't want to have any hard coded links right here. So instead of those, I'm just going to go to app.view file and copy our router links. So copy them, paste them in here and just add classes to them. And it's going, uh, they're going to have the same classes that we have on these links. So I'm just going to paste this in and also right here. Okay, now we don't need these anymore. So we remove them and now we are left with just two router links. Of course, we are going to change the color to pink so that we can see it better. And uh, I'm also going to change the text to be large and not small. Save this, check it out. As you can see, we now have home and about. And also let's remove those underlines. So you just do no underline. Okay, great. And just make some changes to our logo. Uh, it's going to be a font of bold. And let's say that the text is going to be 3XL. Save this, check it out. And now we have our uh, navigation bar. Okay, uh, let's just clean this all up. Uh, we are going to go to app.view, remove the old navigation, we don't need it. And also from the home page, I'm just going to remove all of these components and say, this is a home page. Okay, save this, check out, out our page. We are on the home page, we got our logo, we got our navigation bar and that's it. Okay, so that's the first part. The next part, we are going to create our reservation form, which is going to be displayed on the home page. So when somebody comes to our site, they can choose in which location do they want to pick up the vehicle, when do they want to pick it up, when do they want to return it, and then the application will uh, show them the available cars. This is how this is going to work. So first of all, let's just sketch this out in our home.view file. So I'm going to have a hero block right here. Uh, hero block is going to have the background of gray and it's going to be the full height of the page. So you just do H screen. Okay, and in that block, we are going to have a container, uh, which is going to be flexbox and it's going to justify to center and align items are going to also be aligned in the center and that's about it so whatever we put into this container is going to be centered horizontally and vertically uh, next thing we are going to do we are just going to add a div right here with pairing of let's say four and bg white just so we can see what's happening and uh, let's just put some text in it, save it and see how this looks. So as you can see, uh, we have this right here, but something isn't working properly for me right now. So BG gray, uh, we don't see it even, a flex box. To... Okay, so BG gray, I always get this wrong. Is it A or E? Save it. So now all of our site is uh, actually all of our page is gray. And what we want to do next, uh, I'm not sure why this is, this isn't aligning properly. Uh, okay, so because of the height. Okay, so now this is at the center of our page. So this is where our reservation form is going to live. Of course, what we want to do uh, is not have this uh, presented this way, but we want to have a different component for our reservation form. So I'm just going to delete this and create a new component in our components and call it reservation form dot view. Okay.
Okay, so this should be our reservation form and now we can import it to our home view. Okay, and now we just put it right here. Save this, check out our page. Okay, now we have form right here. Now our reservation form uh, is going to consist of some other components which we are going to create during this series. And the first one of those is going to be a pick a location uh, select box. So we want to create a select box for use on our page. And this select box, uh, we are going to make it so that you can use it not just on this form, but throughout your project. So let's just go to PHP Storm. And first of all, I just want to go to reservation form and make this be width of half. So when I save this, check it out. Now it's going to be half width of the screen. Uh, okay, so in components, I'm just going to create a new folder or directory called forms. And in this directory, we are going to put our, our form elements. So in our case, it's going, first of all, it's going to be select box. So I'm just going to go to forms and create a new file called input select that view so template and we are going to go to our browser uh, go to the, the tailwinds page again and uh, as you can see we have a select actually an example of a select form right here so i'm just going to copy uh, this all out copy it copy it and put it in our template uh, now of course these things are not going to be hard coded but for now uh, let's just save this and import it into our reservation form okay so we imported it register it and now in instead of this form right here we are going to import our input select let's check this out so as you can see, now we have New Mexico and that's it. Also, what I want uh, this form to do is actually uh, be full width. So with full and we are just going to remove all of this. Save it, check it out right now. So now it's the full width. Because later we are going to add some, let's say, sort of a grid to our reservation form and we are going to put our components inside that grid so and now then our select box is going to be the width of the grid component that it's put in okay so input select and this is our input select but uh, we don't want it to be hard coded so we don't want to state here also we don't want new mexico missouri and texas right here what we want to do is use some props so that we can get the data into our input select. And uh, we are going to do it like this. And we are going to define some props. The first prop is going to be label. And it's going to be type of string. And the default is going to be nothing the next one is going to be options and it's going to be type <coughs> of array and we are not going to have a default but it's going to be required true so what that means is that you can't create this component or add this component to your page without the options because these are the options for our select box, right? Okay, so we defined our props. Now we just have to define this logic right here. So first for the label, it's easy, right? We're just going to add label right here, great. And the next thing we wanna do is we wanna define new options. So uh, it's going to be V4 equals uh, option and index we need the index for the key in options 
options. Now we add a key to it, which is going to be index. And also we need to add a value to our options option. So the value is going to be option dot value. And uh, our label for the option or what the user is going to be seeing is going to be option option dot label right so we are going to accept this data into this component now when we save this of course if we go to our page right now we are probably going to get an error as you can see uh, missing required prop options because we didn't define them yet so in our code editor we go to reservation form that view and now we define our options right here so our options are accepting an array which is going to be an array of objects and those objects are going to consist of a label which is going to be in this case New York and the value value is going to be one uh, because we are going to access those locations from our database by id at some point so i'm just going to put one right here uh, let's create a few more so the second one is going to be paris and of course Beckham. This is going to be number three. Okay, let's uh, save this, check it out in the browser. And as you can see, we get New York, Paris, Peckham. Uh, one thing we forgot was the label. Pick up location. And as you can see, I added double quotes and then single quotes because we need to send a string uh, to our component. Save this check it out and now we have pick application new york and so on of course we are not going to hard code these locations like this but in the next episode we are going to create uh, our locations in the database and an endpoint for that location for those locations and then we are going to connect to our api and display those locations like that so we are not going to hard code all of this but i just wanted to show you how this kind of component would work in your project okay so remember that everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below and as always thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one